right, we are back at you here at the NAM Show 2019. My name is Florentino. I'm the CEO of Entertalk, also the host of the Changing Stage radio show. And this has been a phenomenal show. I don't know, it's been huge. It's about the people that have come through. It's amazing. Uh, yes, we are broadcasting on Caffeine TV, our great partner. So I appreciate you all joining us. Obviously, we have the audiences here. And I have a very good longtime friend, one of the most blessed souls I know, and uh, just a, a, a joy to, to be around. I feel the Mr. same way Ma about you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Mr. Michael. Layman Boddicker here with us. Thank you, Florentino. Thanks for inviting me to uh, talk with you today. Well, we, we always have a good time talking. Oh, yeah. But it's been too long. It's been like almost three years now since the last time we had an interview. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was in the new facility I built. So yes, this, yes. This is yeah. great. Soul 7 Post. Yes, yeah. yes. So this has been a, a, it's, it's a good catch up here. We've known each other since the 80s. Met here at NAM. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I okay. think it was 87. Wow. Yeah, wow. I remember it to this day. Wow. You're walking through and I seen your badge and go, oh my, I got to meet this guy. He has changed the face of musical synthesis by your performances. So I'm going to give a little bit of his credentials. He's played on most of Michael Jackson's albums. Uh, he's been Quincy Jones' right hand keyboard man with you and Greg Filling Games. Oh, you bet. Greg and, is uh, right there. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and there's just tons of stuff. You, you, you're, you're on the, the board with Moog. You have. A, a, a group that meets up about how all this wonderful technology and music's made and working with the leaders of the industry. And you're here with me right now and I'm like tickled as a little little schoolgirl, little baby <laughs> school, right? <laughs> it's, it's good to see you, Florentino. <laughs> I feel the same way, man. It's, it's just been wonderful to watch your development and, and your career moves from the dot-com days yeah. to here doing Back this. Back to the dot-com days, right? This is great. This is great. <laughs> yep. This is great. Yeah. So, Michael, let's just jump right into it, man. What is going on with you right now? Because you've got a lot of cool things that are happening. Obviously, you still have your studio. You're still making soundtracks. You're still doing yeah, uh, movies do, and, and TV. But you've got a lot of other things going on. Tell, do, tell us about what's going on. Doing that. Uh, still doing uh, events with IMSTA. Spoke for the Moogzeum yesterday okay. for the I, Bob I, Moog Foundation. I ran into Ray on, uh, Ray on the elevator. He said that you had, I said he were doing this interview. He said, yeah, he just was was talk to one of my, my groups. Yeah, uh, Ray Williams. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, fantastic guy. I should say I last love name, Ray. Ray. <laughs> I love Ray. Uh, what we're doing is uh, Synthplex now. Uh, if you're familiar with Supergroup, uh, uh, Superbooth rather, Superbooth in uh, Berlin, what's happened is the synthesizer manufacturers uh, have kind of separated themselves from Music Mesa, okay. and this is similar to that. Okay. Uh, we're, we're absolutely, I love NAM. I'm part of NAM. Yeah. But just like this, to get here took me 25 minutes of walking from the media room at Hall E to here. Oh my god, and, you were and, all the way down there to get here? Oh. Uh, yeah, I was doing an interview at uh, 1030. So to, to get here after that interview, it took me 25 minutes. And, and that's step. with disciplining myself not to stop and talk to people that I desperately need to talk to. Yes. So uh, uh, what we have is the grouping of all the synthesizer manufacturers, Eurorack, modular, software people that are coming to Burbank. And that's the last weekend of March, 28th through the 31st at the Burbank Marriott Convention Center. Wow. And uh, it's, it's going to be for the professionals in Los Angeles, the sound designers, the composers, the songwriters, the studio musicians. We're partnering with the uh, Society of Composers and Lyricists, uh, ASCAP, uh, BMI, AF of M, uh, the RMA, uh, I, we've got Warner Brothers uh, lot coming. We've got these great interfaces with the professional community and all of those people. We expect about 3,000 people over the four day period uh, to, to come and talk directly to the vendors. You can buy different from the NAM show, you can buy there. Kind of like a big synthesizer swap meet, oh, but, but uh, with the city of Burbank, not the city of Los Angeles, but the city of Burbank, right. you have an itinerant merchant situation where like for a swap meet, they give us a blanket license and everybody, you can walk out of there with uh, synthesizers wow. that will be sold 
possibly below wholesale that you can you guys uh, didn't hear that <laughs> <laughs> you can you can go and uh, walk out of there with the synthesizer that you want on the spot and um, the pedal manufacturers because all the euro rack guys use pedals yeah yeah, yeah. right uh, we've got a big uh, we've got uh, the Exoso, which is the Experimental Sound Society, is going to be there. Modular on the Spot is going to be there. We've got wow. over 40 acts. It's almost like Moog Fest came to the West Coast because there uh, are over 40 acts performing. Thomas Dolby is uh, performing at the banquet on Saturday night. Uh, Mark Isham with Vinnie Caliuta playing. Wow. Uh, Chuck Jonke is playing. Uh, who did that huge Avatar thing? The, the, the largest uh, uh, live music uh, performance situation at Disney in China. It's it's huge. Chuck is going to be there. It's uh, it's going to be fantastic. Well, if Entertalk is invited, we want to bring. I'll the get you a sofa and a chair. We'll set you up. That would be I'm awesome. Telling you, Let's you're, do this. You're, Let's do you're, this. you're there. We we so, just made a deal. The deal's on on air. So. <laughs> We're going to bring the synthesizer world to you folks that cannot be in Burbank at that time, but we would love to do that, and uh, that's huge. So, with that said, are you, do you still have uh, your your synth? I I have that... I have the the post company where mm -hmm. we we take everything, we clean up the dialogue, put it in order, make the choices. Uh, Add in sound effects, whatever the editor hasn't already done. Uh, do the the foley, uh, do all the backgrounds, yeah. and then take your music, mix it, and mix the film, output the film, or whatever formats need to be done. That's the Post Company, Soul Seven Post. We have SST, which is Synthesizer Systems Technologies, and also about three years ago, I bought uh, Synthesizer Rental Service and uh, SRS, yeah, yeah. so you can find both of those. Uh, and, and if you need to rent keyboards or we other... We still have a huge, yeah, yeah, huge the... business there. That's that's very nice. Uh, and you got uh, some great... Tell me what's your favorite uh, like vintage unit. I know you got like vintage vocoders well, and other ones. Eric Persing at uh, Spectre Sonics has been making great use of my modular Moog. Oh, yes. So my modular 55, which is an expanded, it's a, a 55, which is the two lower cabinets, and then I have two upper cabinets as well, plus a 15, plus all the MIDI interfaces now, what, for it. Was this the one that you bought when you were 21? Did you? Did you? Ah, 21. I think I might have been 23. 23. Okay. Yeah. I was. I, it was the early 20s. I remember the story. He was sleeping on the floor so that he can afford this mode <laughs> and be able to be the guy that was driving the whole synthesizer, uh, you know, highway down, you know, down, down Hollywood Boulevard. So. It, it was good. It was a good period. Yeah. I, I was really blessed to be yeah. in the music industry at that time. But you know, here we are today. It's such a different industry, right? We're, and, and we're still making music today. We're still, my wife is a, a vocal contractor, vocal. She casts the voice. She uh, hires the, the people. She does all the contracts. She does the conducting. I she does she cast the voice. I oh yeah, she back. A, arranging. She finds that specific boy soprano. She finds that girl soprano. She finds the guy, when, when they say, uh, Nicole Kidman's yeah. doing this part, uh, you know, who can sing? Uh, like Nicole Kidman, and Edie will go, I have five girls that sing like Nicole Kidman, wow. and, and they'll audition and use whoever needs to do the parts. Although Nicole's a fine singer, they need somebody to do the demo work for her. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so uh, And uh, she's done three pictures with Hans Zimmer this year already. Wow. Uh, she's working on the new Jordan Peele movie with Michael Abels. Oh, my word. Is he just out of the gate? That guy like won so many awards last year with wow. Get Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. Fantastic that, that composer. Awesome. She's got just a wonderful group of people. John Powell, she did all the... Uh, um, Happy Feet and the... Uh, the Ice Age movies, she's done all those with John. 90-piece choirs. Fabulous, fabulous. Wow. And, and just the sweetest lady that I've ever met. She's just, I like her. Yeah, you, yeah you, I do. You, I you do. did I all like right. Her, yeah. You did yeah, all right, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I know that you're a busy man, and I know things have been great for you. We're going to do this. We're going to go and broadcast from Please. I want to... I want to say one more thing about sure, Synthplex. Sure. What, when, when you come and look at Synthplex.com, you'll see that there are seminars there. So this is not just 
a vendor situation or not just a music performance situation. This is educational seminars. We've got intellectual property rights. We've got neighboring rights. We've got uh, the benefits of, of doing work through the union. We've got uh, people teaching Ableton. We've got three, three, five, five seminars on Ableton. We've got people teaching you 10 fast ways, 45 minutes, 10 ways you can improve the speed of your sequencing right now. And uh, How can times, get 30, yeah. times 33. Go to synthplex.com. It's uh, all routed through Eventbrite, but synthplex, S Y N T H P L E X.com. And again, that's the end of March this year. Intertalk will be there. Michael Boddicker, my, my brother, and you're going to be there. A pleasure for it. So we're going to have to do this again, and we're going to talk about some of the gear that's there and maybe have you uh, sit in this seat. Inter I'm, I'm going to put you on the spot right now. Sit in this seat, interview a few of your friends. That at you, Synthplex? At Synthplex. <laughs> <laughs> I hope from, you, from, from your mouth to God's ear that I'll have that kind of time to do it. I, I, know, I, I, know hope, I hope to be Chuck Sirock, where I can stand at the door of my facility and shake everybody's hand on the way in, that everything is that organized. And, uh, and I trust we have Karen Dunn, who I'm does the you. Tech Awards, and she does... Um, Pensado, the Pensado Awards, she did the Golden Reel Awards, and she's got everything ship-shaped. Uh, Tip-top, it's going to be tight. She's going to, uh, you yeah, know, so, be, so yes. You don't do anything I, less. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, I, I'll at least be able to do one for you, Tio. Yes, if we can get you to do one, it'll be awesome. All right. Michael Lemon Boddicker, folks, the man who pretty much brought synthesis to the world, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. <laughs> that was Bob Mogg and Don Buchla and Alan R. Hear, Perlman, the, the uh, John playing, Cage, <laughs> Zanakis. Come on. I know, I know, but you got to hear the people play. You, Greg, all those incredible players back at that time. This has been Enter Talk on Caffeine TV. We'll be right back with another interview shortly.